Hello. Look at this. I actually have everything up, running, and live on Facebook. And you just turn eight o'clock. <laughs> nice. I am on the ball this evening. You are. Where are you I had an errand, and by the time I got home, Luke had supper finished and on the table, and both girls in bed with their teeth brushed. I was like, "Wow, everything's falling into place tonight." <laughs> nice. It must be diffusing oh, motivation or something on time or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. Young Living has a blend called present time. They need to have one, like, on time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's what we> <laughs> <need>. <laughs> uh, tonight's going good, everyone. Let's pray for good technology. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Housekeeping stuff. Let me just make sure no one's trying to get in here. Okay. Um, if you're joining us live on Zoom, um, it's auto- filtered to have your video and your mic off just because we want to be respectful. We do post these on YouTube for the public, so we want to be respectful. If you don't want your face seen or your voice heard, um, we want to be considerate of that. So if you're joining us on Zoom, um, we'd love for you to turn your camera on and your mic on, but we understand if you don't, that's totally cool with us. We want to respect your privacy. If you're joining us on Facebook, make sure that you comment watching live um, or watching replay. Uh, we're doing two points for both of those for this month for December because it's the season of giving and generosity. Um, we're also doing points for any likes, any shares, and any oily tips you share with us. So if we're talking about an oil and you're like, hey, yeah, I've used that for this, this, and this, um, we're giving you points for those as well. So we're like filling the prize wheel this month. We want to get as many names on there as we possibly can because we love giving gifts. Um, and what better time to give gifts than Christmas? Exactly. So, um, tonight's our second night talking about um, the oils of ancient scripture. So Anne, do you want to share yours first? Certainly. Certainly. I actually... I actually learned quite a bit about this particular um, essential oil. Um, I have uh, cassia. It's, um, it's, I don't know too much about this one, so I'm going to learn too. Well, yeah, I, I was like, <laughs> wow, this is really awesome. And, you know, we always go to this bag oh, yes. <laughs> here because, you know, I mean, why reinvent the wheel? when it's right here. Oh, right, when it's right there, why do anything else? <laughs> so what's interesting is that this particular plant, its origin is actually in China. I did not know that. I did not know that at all. And the extraction methods, um, is steam distilled from the branches, leaves, um, and petioles. I guess. Um, and it also says um, that the aroma is similar to cinnamon, but chemically and physically quite different. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I, I love the fact that the, that this nice little essential oil Bible gives a lot of historical background um, on these essential oils um, because you know we could just say oh you know it's got this and this and this in it and this is what what my experience has been with it etc um, but this is kind of really cool um, it's rich in biblical history and is mentioned in one of the oldest known medical records the Ebers papyrus dated from the 16th century BC an ancient Egyptian list of 877 prescriptions and recipes. See, I was right like, here. wow, <laughs> who knew? Who knew? Um, you know, there's some things in here that, you know, I would highly recommend that if you don't have this nice Bible of essential oils, um, to get yourself a copy because then you can really read um, through things thoroughly. I mean, we always like to be FDA compliant. We don't ever want to get in trouble uh, for kind of saying the wrong words. So I'm just going to leave it as um, this is a um, immune system support oil. That's what I'm going to say. 
Um, and, and it has a wide variety of uses. I'm going to leave it at that, you know, just do your own research. Um, I'm one, I, you know, I'm, I'm like, Hmm, I wonder, I'm going to do a little, little research on that and just find out, you know, kind of the background of those things. Um, now everybody always asks, so how do you use this? How do you use these oils? You know, I mean, that's probably one of the number one questions that I, this one only comes in the oils of ancient scripture kit, correct? Correct. Correct. So therefore people will definitely be asking, Oh, well, how do you use this then? You know, since it's just part of this kit, um, <clears throat> you can, um, it suggests that you dilute one part essential oil with four parts of the V6 oil. So one drop <laughs> of this oil to four parts of the V6 oil complex or other pure vegetable oil. Um, and you can apply it to your Vitaflex points. Um, you can diffuse it and you can take it as a dietary supplement, it says. Nice. Remember, it's, it's kind of similar to cinnamon, but very different. <laughs> okay. Um, and it does have, um, and it's, it is also found in, so here's a tip, take note. It's found in the Exodus oil, essential oil, and it's also found in Endogize essential oil. Oh. Mm-hmm. Or Endogize. I, should, I shouldn't say it's Endogize essential oil. Um, the supplement, you mean? Yeah, the supplement. Because I'm like, I'm like, no, that wait, that's wrong. You said it, and I was like. Because Endoflex <laughs> is the oil. Endogize <laughs> is the supplement. And I should know that because I use both. <laughs> Uh, I was like, energize is the oil. Maybe it's just, no, it's not in that one. No, no. So, yeah, it was, it was rather, it was rather a very um tiresome day today in the nanny field. <laughs> I've gone twice and I feel really bad. <laughs> I didn't get my mama nap. Both the girls were up. <laughs> Nobody I napped at okay. so early today. I'm like, I can do this. Stay awake. <laughs> And that's okay. And I just want to, um, it does reference um, a um, scripture verse also. Um, so I just want to kind of highlight it. It's out of Psalm um, 45, verse 8. And it says, All thy garments smell of myrrh and aloes and cassia out of the ivory palaces whereby they have made thee glad. So it's like, wow. I'm trying to imagine that. Sm I know what myrrh smells like. And you're saying cassia smells like that cinnamon -y. Yeah. Um, And then with aloes in there, which is like sandalwoods and things, that would uh -huh. smell beautiful to get. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thinking uh -huh. I might need to get that in my diffuser. <laughs> you might. And it also does say good. <laughs> to um, just use some caution when you're diffusing um just that for some people who might have sensitive skin their nasal passages also may be very sensitive too so you know do it in a very large room if you're going to <laughs> going probably, to probably don't start in a bedroom <laughs> yeah yeah probably a living room <laughs> Let's see. Let's see there. there you are all right, so this is what it looks like in the, in the nice little... Beautiful. I mean, I can't even get it to... It's so shiny. I know. Oh, it does smell really good. Nice. It, it's cinnamon, but yet a hint of like that sandalwood. Ooh. Yeah, it's very nice. Very, very nice. So, I'm hoping I get that kit for Christmas. There you go. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> like sitting in a chair over here. <laughs> he just grins. But I was going to say, he's probably got a little smirk on his face. <laughs> it's one of those things, like I have 
most of the oils in the kit, like I have cypress and I have cedar wood and I have myrrh and I have frankincense, but then there are those certain oils in that kit, like cassia, you can only get them in that kit. And I'm like, I really want it. And they look really pretty too. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They're nice and gold labels, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of the, 411 on Cassia. Awesome. Well, hopefully I can you. get it for Christmas and then I can smell it myself. There you go. <laughs> All right. So Cyprus. I have three different places that I have noticed because this is such a cool oil. First, let me check if anyone has any questions for Anne before we continue on. We have Wendy and B both watching us live and Jill. This is awesome. Hello, ladies. Welcome. Yes, welcome ladies. I don't see any questions, so I will continue on with Cyprus. I do want to mention, now that we've both referenced our oils Bible here, um, LSP for a time, I don't know if they're updating it or what's going on there. They're current, this book is currently discontinued. Mm -hmm. They are still available on Amazon. I found some there the other day. Otherwise, and this may be better, I like paper. I like flipping through books. It's not at all convenient when you're out and about and talking to people about oils. Um, there's an app of this beast that you can get on your phone, which is way more convenient in my opinion. You can use it at your in-law's house for the holidays, or you can use it in the grocery store, or you can use it in your living room. So just because you can't, if you can't find it on Amazon, just because this book isn't currently on LSP doesn't mean you can't get your hands on the Bible. You can get it in a much smaller, more compact, easier to carry version. So have no fear. The LSP Bible is still available. <laughs> All right. So Cyprus. I have notes in three places. So the Bible verse for this one that I picked is Isaiah 44, 14. He cut down cedars or perhaps took a cypress or oak. He let it grow among the trees of the forest or planted a pine and the rain made it grow. So I really love that picturesque, like in wintertime, we're not really talking about gardening and we're not really doing a lot of hiking in national parks or anything, but that, that verse just creates a really beautiful imagery to me of cedars and cypress and oak and um, pine. Like these are all really strong, really firm, really grounding trees. So I, I just love that picture of nature of being surrounded by something so big and beautiful and strong and stable. I really, really like that. So this oil is extracted from the cypress tree. This wood is so durable that the cypress doors of Rome's St. Peter's Basilica still today show no signs of decay even after 1,200 years. Uh, when Luke and I went on our honeymoon, we actually got to see St. Peter's Basilica and I got to touch those doors. And it was so astounding to see and feel these doors that are over a thousand years old. And it, it, was, it was just simply breathtaking. The hand carving in those doors is so intricate. And it was just amazing to be like, these doors are a piece of history. How many, how many, historical figures and leaders and celebrities have gone through these doors and these doors could tell stories because it lasts that long. It's that um, firm and, and stable of a tree and strong wood. I just thought that was incredible. Um, Cyprus is mentioned five times biblically, directly mentioned five times, and um, in the Old Testament this tree, was, this tree was used mostly for its wood, as it is so strong and durable. Noah used it to build the ark. Some translations of the Bible refer to gopher wood. That's what Cyprus is. Um, so it was used to build the ark. The Greeks and the Romans used it for relieving upset tummies, and they used the leaves of the tree to help treat something that I FDA can't talk about, nor do I, I really want to. So go Google that one, what the... Um, Greeks and Romans use the leaves of it to help treat. It's a very interesting story. Um, Cyprus has a very fresh and herbace herbaceous aroma. It can be grounding and energizing at the same time when it's diffused and it can help restore feelings of security and stability. 
Um, for those with oily complex complexions, you can add one drop to your moisturizer to increase radiant looking skin. Um, you can diffuse four to six drops to increase motivation. This actually works. I did a blind test on some people and it works. Uh, mix three drops of Cypress with a carrier oil and massage into your legs to get the blood flowing and get your energy and motivation up before a run. And uh, or before playtime with your significant other, ask me later about Valentine's Day classes for couples. I'm actually going to share a little bit of that one in my next notes. A um, little bit of a teaser for Valentine's Day coming up. Make sure you get those orders in before February 7th because you want them to actually arrive. Um, so Cypress is an evergreen that is used frequently in landscaping. You probably see it all the time while you're driving around and have no idea that it's actually a cypress tree. So do a Google search for an image so that you can spot it as you drive by people's homes. That's really kind of a fun thing. Um, <clears throat> so now my notes from this one. Um, the Greeks used it to carve statues to their gods. Um, the Greek word Semper vivens is from, which is the botanical name that Cypress is derived from, means live forever. So that's really cool. The tree shares its name with the island of Cyprus, where it was used for worship. Cypress wood is noted for its durability and is used in many places in the Vatican, um, specifically the doors at St. Peter's Basilica. Um, it improves circulation. Uh, a few of these other things aren't FDA compliant, so I can't read them here, but look them up in your app or in your book. Um, it really promotes liver health, super, super well promotes liver health. Um, it can help soothe irritating chest discomforts. And symptoms of something that's very popular right now. That's all I'm gonna say on that one. Um, I have to be creative. I don't like it. All right, so this book, ooh, children of virtue eyes. Um, this book is so, <laughs> you have kids. <laughs> um, so this book, if you don't have it, you need it. Whether you have a significant other in your life or not, this book is just good for me, okay? Like, there's a ton of really good info in this book. If you have a significant other, it will change your relationship and change your life in multiple ways. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to read you, like, I'm going to try to read you a page and a half from this book. A lot of this probably isn't FDA compliant, so I have to skip over some of it. So I highly, 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 get this book for yourself for Christmas, because it's incredible lots of really good info in it. So Cypress is a fantastic oil that is high in some things that I really can't pronounce, alpha pinene and monoterpenes. They work in the body to inhibit accumulation of toxins and they help discharge the existing toxins from your liver and your kidneys. Um, in Cyprus, there are some yuck dispelling properties and expectorant and diuretic qualities. Cyprus is a fantastic support to the circulatory system. Um, I think I can say that. It's a natural homostatic and cyptic, which means that it strengthens the blood vessel walls and aids them to close in case of an open cut or wound. The naturally occurring Camphenine is really good at fighting against yuck and reduces the chance of needing white blood cells. Um, <laughs> so when there's any kind of injury to the body, Cypress can really support the body's natural defenses to slow bleeding and prevent the need for white blood cells. Even cooler though is how these same properties work at improving circulation when the blood vessels have not been broken down. Cyprus has been known to strengthen blood vessels by increasing their ability to contract and release, which improves blood flow. Weak vein walls coupled with improper circulatory pressure can make blood pool in veins, causing them to stretch and widen or bulge toward the surface. This can result in varicose or spider veins. 
I've had some nasty spider veins on one leg. It's like this big of a patch, but since high school. And I was on the swim team in high school, and that's embarrassing. Being a high school kid with spider veins, not cool. Like, not attractive. I found this. Oh, I, I'm using this. This, this is good. And they're going away. Personal testimony. This stuff works. I'm not joking. Um, when applied daily to large or spidery veins, Cypress improves the vein's ability to push the blockage of blood that makes them appear raised and dark, thus making leg veins appear smaller, lighter, and less noticeable. And she has a recipe in the back of this book. It's really good. Cypress is also a gentle diuretic, which means that it aids in flushing out the toxins. This is why Cypress is one of the main ingredients in Young Living's Cell Light Magic Massage Oil. If you don't have that, you need it on your next order. Believe me. It's a fantastic, naturally derived, tushy toning massage oil. Dimpled backsides are no girl's favorite and can sometimes be caused by fluid retention, lack of circulation, a breakdown of collagen, tight, fibrocious tissues, and excess body fat. Even thin girlies lose tone over time. Cypress helps reduce the appearance of cellulite by reducing excess fluid, improving blood flow, and increasing toxin removal during urination. It's especially helpful when combined with massage to release toxins and loosen tight fibro fibrocious tissues. Amazing, right? It makes my bootay look better. <laughs> it makes my chest feel clear, and it's relaxing when diffused. Try it in the diffuser with lavender. Oh, so many reasons to love Cypress, and I haven't even gotten to how to use Cypress between the sheets. That's a whole nother chapter. And it's a good chapter. <laughs> so, awesome, awesome stuff with Cypress. And I didn't even get to the Valentine's Day stuff. But Cypress is an awesome, awesome, awesome oil. So many different uses. Some that I didn't even know of until I was prepping for tonight. Um, we love it here. Luke actually just loves it because he loves tree oils and that pine smell kind of a deal. Um, so that's why we originally got it. And then as I started researching on it and researching on it and researching on it, I loved it more and more and more. And after getting that book, I can tell you it's now one of my favorite oils as well. So um, I want to check if anyone has any questions because we've covered a lot. I don't see anything. All right, let me add, we have Jill and Wendy and B to add to our wheel. Is there anything you have to add, Anne? Nope. Nope, all right. Let me, I'm gonna share my screen here. Here we go. Can you see it? Okay, all right. So we've got lots of names this week, lots of people liking the video, lots of people commenting on the video. Um, these are awesome. I'm super glad about all these names on this wheel. And every entry is a chance to win something cool. Ann and I send out good stuff in the mail. All right. Ooh. have turned up my sound. Congratulations! All right, I will get something in the mail to you this week. Um, all right, Anne, do you have a motivational quote for this week, or shall I share one? Why don't you go ahead and share one? Okay. Let me see. Which one do I want? I pulled up a bunch of them. Um, something that was super simple that I saved off of Facebook. It's really simple, but it struck me as being really profound. Today only happens once. Make it amazing. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, that's so simple. Like, that's kindergarten logic. Today only happens once. But so often we get in this mindset of like, if I don't finish this today, I can get it done tomorrow or, well, I've always got tomorrow or, you know, like we, we put off, 
I have to get my chores done today so I can have fun tomorrow. Like we just, we give up the enjoyment of today and I like not to go morbid with it. Like you're never guaranteed tomorrow. I mean, not to go that way with it, but like, I would love to look back on a week and go, I did something really fun for myself or something fun with Luke or something fun with each of my girls every day this week. I'm, I made every day count for something productive, yes, but enjoyable as well. I hate it when I have weeks where I'm so loaded down with laundry and dishes that I dreaded the week. Mm. So I, I thought that was really simple, but it really struck with me. Today only happens once make it amazing so Mm -hmm. that's so true that's so true we get so we get so caught up with stuff Mm -hmm. and then we begin to think well maybe next weekend i can i can have a day to you know and it shouldn't be that way it should be it should be you know what today was a good day no no matter no matter what you know no matter what happened, you know, today was a good day. Yeah. <laughs> so. And I think we have a tendency, and not in a bad way, it just kind of happens. And I think it happens more as we get older. <laughs> we tend to redefine amazing. Mm-hmm. The trip to Six Flags in two months is going to be amazing. Or, or Christmas dinner is going to be amazing. And we lose the, like doing stickers with my girlies and seeing Inara match two fish together for the first time. That was amazing. You know, Mm -hmm. like the little things in life can be amazing too. You don't just have to wait for that big trip in six months or a big get together in two weeks. I mean, find something little in every day to define as amazing. I think that's a cool challenge too. Mm Mm-hmm. For sure. For sure. Yep, I would agree. So that's my motivational, thought-provoking quote for the week. Um, If we're talking about anything and you come up with a question two days from now, message Anne or myself or even Janelle. Um, If you're looking at these oils, if you order one of these books and you're like, hey, I need a starter kit because I've got a lot of oils on a wish list, you can contact Anne or Janelle or myself or Rose. Um, anyone who referred you to this video and just ask for our member number and we can grab you, um, help you get you, help get you started with a starter kit. And sometimes if you catch us on the right week, we've got really good sales going on and really good deals and we'll help you get Mm -hmm. a discount on that starter kit or a discount like what's going on with the thieves cleaning kit right now, which is really cool. And do you want to mention a bit about that? 20% 20% off this cleaning kit. And just in time for like New Year's resolution to clean my house. I went, what? <laughs> I know. I'm super excited. So, but remember though, it's only from today until the 18th. That grab it now. Percent is going on. So grab it now. Jeff, grab Jeff. it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Quick, quick, like a bunny. Quick, quick, like a bunny. My ER order or my ER order process, but I'm thinking a quick order might have to happen this month. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. Yep, very good stuff. All right. If you want to grab any of that and you don't have your own account, just ask Ann or I or any of us for our member number and we'll get you hooked up. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Luke's playing the sign off music now, so I hope you all have a beautiful week. Don't stress out about getting ready for the holidays. They will be amazing, just Mm -hmm. as they are, because that's how you're choosing to define it every day. Exactly. So, have a beautiful week. We will see you here same time, same place, next Tuesday. Sounds good. Bye, everyone. Bye.